quackity quack. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Duffin Blitz. And today we are going to be discussing the changes of, that are upcoming and that are going to be added into the game. And we we'll, are going to break down on what we could possibly get and how it would affect the game itself. Let's get to it. So good evening everyone. Hope you guys are having a good Friday afternoon. Or night. Or morning. Uh, again, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be discussing uh, upcoming changes that, that are coming or supposed to be coming. Um, see if they're true or not. Because you know how Wargaming and all these other content creators excuse me, all these content creators do, they, they get inside your head and they really trick you, so I am a very honest creator, I am not a, a contributor to Wargaming, um, but I will be very honest with my opinions and how I feel about the upcoming changes or not, but I cannot promise that I know everything, because in the end, I don't know everything. So let's get to it. <coughs> so, a new game mode in the works of the lovely Wargaming itself. 10 versus 10. Wowza. Now, this is going to be a doozy. Um, apparently it's going to be a upcoming game mode into World of Tanks Blitz. Um, I've got the second screen up here that I've got on the computer. So I will read through what what there is to come. So new game mode in the works. Uh, the name, the header and the image in the placeholder that we see here, so it's it's this bit here, um, are just a beta. It's not the actual photo itself. So these are still a prototype stage into the uh, the event now is this going to be true or not um i don't know it could be true if it's official it might not be true we'll just have to wait and see um some uh so there is a code called lester which i'll pop up on this on the screen um unsure if it's uh still active or not, or if you can still redeem it, um, but I'm sorry if it doesn't, but we'll just have to find out and see. Um, and some are saying that this game mode is going to be coming in the, t uh, the 10th Blitz anniversary that is coming up very soon. Um, now, will I think it's going to be coming up into the anniversary? Um, I don't think so. Now here's my reasoning why, because we've got all these new things coming along and this could be set back if it's coming. Do not quote me on that, if it's coming. Um, say if it is coming, I'm guessing, this is just my prediction, it could come within the next update or two maybe three depending on how how much it will set back if it's going to be set back i do not know um so i'm not going over the blitz tournament blitz star thing stuff that um don't really care about that now here we are so uh, the T ninety five E the T blah, 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 blah. sorry, the T ninety five E six draw will be coming. Is it worth it? Well, if you've got gold to spare and you don't have the tank and you don't, there's nothing in the store that suits you. Um, I would recommend just saving up your gold because you wouldn't know what will be coming up on offer. But if you want to test your luck, try out the draw. Who knows? You might get the tank. Uh, Warhammer Skulls 2024 will be happening soon. Expect a new Warhammer 
profile background animated avatars and sales for the WH4K tanks. The Warhammer 40 tanks. Um, so it looks like the Vindicator and the Predator, uh, I think that's what it's called, will be coming in the game for the Warhammer event. Very rare tanks, worth getting. Um, if you're a collector, sure. If you if you want to play them outright, uh, don't get them. They are absolutely dog doo doo. No, avoid them at all cost. The STRV, the Tier Eight Collector Collector or Premium Tank. It's a Centurion clone. It's going to drop in a subscription of some sort. Might be free for the birthday event. Who would know? Tank. Uh, this is from Doodles himself. Don't listen to Doodles, he is delusional as he can be. Um, if it's a Centurion clone, we all know how good the Centurion um, rack is and the other Centurions, they are very good, very strong turrets and who knows, it might be a DPM machine at tier 8. So the, so the update next week, uh, three new hybrid nation tanks appearing in the game. Uh, the, the Star Trek collab coming with a special theme tank at tier 7. Mad Games event will be coming with a special theme tank at tier 7 again. The Defender theme tank coming at tier 8. Tiers may be changed as Wargaming balances the tank. Um, the past examples include the ground tank at tier 7. The BZ176 at tier 8. The STRV at tier 9. As such, don't take the tears too seriously for now, since it's pretty early in development. Okay, so apparently a new event similar to Doom slash Forest Witch slash Lycan Battle Pass will probably occur during the birthday event. New legendary camo camo names and price confirmed. The FV four double oh five Hen House for six and a half thousand gold. The I don't know what that tank is, might be a new tank. At six and a half thousand gold in the Chieftain Mark Six Cardestine, Cardestine, Dane, I don't I don't know. At six thousand gold. Will I go my way out of paying this much gold for a camouflage? Absolutely not. Yes, they are new. They rip they are rip off. Don't get them. Honestly, you can save your gold for something much better than a camouflage. Um, I did have a scroll up here, so if there's going to be anything bad said in here, um, I will try to blur it out or I'll cut it. Alrighty, so here we have um, the game news on the other server that I am in. Uh, A new tier 8 Soviet medium tank that will be coming into crates. Now, everyone knows their feeling about crates. Do not waste your money on them crates. Wait for it until it comes into sale for the gold. So what's the tank like? A strong tire with, with a good upper plate armor. 8 degrees of gun depression, so it's pretty good gun is an impressive average accuracy dpm low penetration terrible aim time but a great gun handling mobility is just average quite similar to the t44 100 or the st62 mobility the object 59 is a fairly unimpressive as it is very similar to already coexisting soviet and chinese mediums not worth it in crates it offers nothing new or nothing special. Um, so we'll go to the site here and we will have a see if there's a, the stats itself. So the armor, let's see. Now, <laughs> oh, they, this is where they'll lie to you about the stats. It's saying it has a good upper plate. That's 205 millimeters of AP pen. You are not bouncing any of that. 
use that turret. And this is with APCR. This turret is still fairly strong, but your chicks become very, very weak. So obviously, obviously you see there, if you want all this stuff here, go to guidesplits.com and look for the object not 590. Whoops. Um, obviously, French containers, yada yada, blah blah blah. Um, obviously, you guys would have seen these in other videos. So, what do you think about this new uh, changes coming to the game? How do you feel about the uh, game mode? of the 10 versus 10, let me down in the comments below. Um, right after this, I'll be recording a couple of uh, uh, World of Tank Blitz uh, uh, replays and whatnot. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you have, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, it helps a lot. We are pushing for that 100 subscriber, which I will be doing a 100 subscriber uh, special video. And yeah just good good on you guys thank you for the support and i'll see you in the next one bye for now